You need to hear this if you're a human being. A racing heart, a knot in your stomach, palms slick with sweat. We all know these signs. They're the hallmarks of fear. A primal emotion hardwired into our very being. From the boardroom to the bedroom, fear whispers its doubts, urging us to play it safe, to avoid, to retreat. For our ancestors, fear was a lifesaver. It kept them alert to danger, like a saber-toothed tiger lurking in the shadows. This fight-or-flight response, triggered by fear, was crucial for survival. In the modern world, those life-or-death scenarios are less common. Yet, the fear remains. We fear failure, rejection, the unknown. This ancient emotion, once a protector, can become a jailer holding us back from experiencing life to the fullest. But there is good news. Stay with us. While we cannot erase fear entirely, we can learn to master it. We can understand its language, decode its messages, and ultimately free ourselves from its grip. Ready to dive deeper? Let's begin. Get ready for a revelation, how fear lingers. Picture this, a gazelle grazing peacefully in the savanna. Out of nowhere a lion charges. The gazelle, adrenaline surging, bolts for its life, heart racing, muscles straining. If it escapes, it doesn't dwell on the encounter. It doesn't replay the event in its mind. It shakes off the fear and returns to grazing, resuming its life as if nothing happened. Humans, unlike gazelles, have a unique ability. We ruminate, we think deeply and often excessively. We replay past events in our minds, reliving the fear, the anxiety, the pain. This can be a double-edged sword. This tendency to dwell while useful for learning from mistakes can also trap us in a cycle of negativity, making it hard to move on. A child who was bitten by a dog might develop a lifelong fear of all dogs, even friendly ones, avoiding them at all costs. A student humiliated in a presentation might avoid public speaking forever, fearing another embarrassing moment. The initial fear, meant to protect us in the moment, becomes a self-imposed limitation, holding us back. This is not to say that all fear is irrational or unhelpful. Some fears are necessary. Fear can be a valuable signal, alerting us to potential threats and keeping us safe, ensuring our survival. But when fear becomes chronic, pervasive, and out of proportion to the actual danger, it's time to take back control. It's time to reclaim our lives. Stay with us as we explore how to master this powerful emotion. Are you paralyzed by fear, unable to move forward? You're not alone. To master fear, we must first understand its origins, delving deep into the past to uncover the seeds of our anxieties. Let's take this journey together. Many of our deepest fears are not innate but learned, often in childhood, shaped by our earliest experiences and interactions. Do you remember your first fear? Think back to your early years, those formative moments that left an indelible mark on your psyche. What memories come to mind? Perhaps you were terrified of the dark or of being alone, shadows and silence becoming your nightly adversaries. Can you feel that fear again? Maybe a harsh criticism from a teacher filled you with a fear of failure, making you doubt your abilities and potential. How did it shape you? These early experiences, though seemingly insignificant at the time, can leave lasting imprints on our emotional landscape, shaping our responses to future challenges. Do you see the connection? A child who grows up in a chaotic or unpredictable environment might develop anxiety and a heightened fear of the unknown, always bracing for the next upheaval. Does this resonate with you? A child constantly criticized might internalize a fear of failure, holding back from pursuing their dreams, afraid of further disappointment. Have you felt this way? As we mature, these early fears often morph and disguise themselves, becoming more complex and harder to identify. Can you identify your fears now? The fear of the dark might transform into a fear of uncertainty or the future, casting long shadows over our decisions. Do you see the shadows? The fear of being alone could manifest as a fear of rejection or abandonment, influencing our relationships and social interactions. How has it influenced you? Recognizing these connections is crucial for breaking free from fear's grip, allowing us to see the patterns and origins of our anxieties. Are you ready to break free? By understanding the root causes of our anxieties, we can begin to challenge and dismantle them, paving the way for a more fearless and fulfilling life. Let's take the first step together. Why are there not more people talking about recognizing your triggers? The first step to overcoming fear is awareness. It's about understanding what sets off your emotional alarms. Start by paying close attention to your emotional responses. Notice the subtle shifts in your mood. When do you feel most afraid? Is it in specific situations or around certain people? What situations or thoughts trigger those feelings? Reflect on these moments to gain deeper insights. Keep a journal to track your emotions and identify recurring patterns. Writing things down can reveal hidden triggers. You might notice that certain people, places, or even times of day evoke feelings of anxiety or fear. These patterns are key to understanding your triggers. Perhaps you dread Monday mornings, feel intimidated in social situations, or get nervous before presentations. Identifying these moments is crucial. 
Once you start paying attention you'll be surprised by how often fear rears its head in your daily life. But don't judge yourself. Simply observe without judgment. This is a learning process. Remember awareness is not about self-criticism, it's about gathering information. This information is your tool for change. As you become more attuned to your emotional landscape, you'll start to recognize the early warning signs of fear. These signs are your guideposts. This awareness is crucial because it gives you a choice, a choice to act differently. Instead of being controlled by your fear, you can choose how to respond. This is the first step towards empowerment. Embrace this journey of self-discovery. What's Each your step next step you towards you greatness? To mastering your fears. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's inspire each other to reach new heights. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and keep believing in the power of your dreams.